Hey everyone, welcome back to Coach Doc Ministries. Today's video, listening in on the sermon about where are you? It's going to be a good one. Let's get to it. Let's always start off with a moment of prayer. Praise to you, Adonai our God, creator of the universe, who's commanded us to engage with the words of Torah. So today we're going to talk about the law is the first mention. What is this? The law of first mention is where a concept or a doctrine or a theme, the first time it's mentioned, it's considered to be the most important. So you look at the first time something happens in the Bible and you go, okay, that's got to be the most important. And why is it the most important? So today we're going to talk about the first time God asks humanity a question. And we find that in Genesis chapter 3. All right, so up until this point, we've seen the creation of the world. We've seen Adam and Eve placed in the garden, and we've seen the snake come by, Eve bites the apple, well, it wasn't really an apple, gives it to Adam, Adam takes it too, okay, now we're in trouble. Oh my gosh, we're naked, oh my gosh, we're in trouble. So, here's Adam and Eve. Now, we see God come along, verses 8 and 9, where he says, when the cool evening breeze were blowing, the man and his wife heard the Lord God was about the garden. So they hid from the Lord God among the trees. Then the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? First question. God asks humanity, Where are you? This, this wasn't a game of hide and seek. I mean, God knew exactly where Adam and Eve were. But God came to them anyway. God was seeking them. They were hiding. God was seeking. See, God wasn't looking for them physically. He was looking for them spiritually. And spirituality is defined as having a relationship with the divine, with the creator. And in this sense, they were separated from that. They were ashamed. They had felt that they had failed. So they were hiding physically. So here we God have humanity looking. hiding from God. And yet, what do we see? We see God seeking to find them. He's looking for them physically as well as spiritually. See, at this point in the story, it's really the lowest point in humanity for Christianity as well as Judaism. So in Jewish thought, this is the lowest point because this is where death comes into play. In Christianity, this is the lowest point because this is where sin comes into play. So you've got the lowest point in humanity right here in this moment, Genesis chapter 3. I look at it differently. God is looking for Adam and Eve. But given this, given this circumstance, given the fact that this is the lowest point, two major religions talking about this is the lowest point in humanity, where's God looking? God is seeking Adam and Eve. God is asking, where are you? And here's the kicker. God's asking you the same thing. Given these circumstances, the lowest point in, the, in all of humanity, God is still looking. God is still seeking. And what do we learn about this? What can this teach us about God? It teaches us the nature of God. That God's about forgiveness. God's about restoration. This is a theme. This, this theme of forgiveness and restoration is spread out through across the Bible. Psalm 103.12, we read, He has removed our sins as far from us as the east is from the west. We see Psalm 86.5, For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Isaiah 118, Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are as red as crimson, they shall be as wool. And Luke 637, Forgive, and you will be forgiven. You see, I ask you today, where are you? You see, God is still seeking every one of us. God hasn't abandoned us. God hasn't abandoned you, hasn't abandoned me. Still there. Still seeking. Still asking the question, where are you? And no matter where you are in your life, no matter how high or how low, no matter if you're at rock bottom, God is still asking, where are you? You see, no matter how low you are in your life, there's no way you could be as low as Adam and Eve were in this story. Adam and Eve had literally brought death according to the Jewish thought, and sin, 
according to the Christian thought, into the story, into the world. Your life cannot be to the point where you brought sin and death into the world. God sought them. God asked, where are you? God was looking for them. God is still looking for us. No matter what you've done, no matter where you are in your life, no matter how close or how far you are from God, God is still asking, where are you? So I ask you as well, where are you? I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this type of content. If you have specific topics you'd like to see covered, please leave a comment below and we'll work to address them in upcoming videos. Thank you! Thank you.